Tonight, four people are facing charges accused of stealing more than 80 guns from businesses in the region. The state attorney general's office says many of those guns were then sold. Well, WJZ is live. Dennis Valera is on your corner in Glen Burnie outside a business that they allegedly tried to target. Dennis. Yeah, Denise, this group of four, they are tied to 10 different incidents in three counties, Anne Arundel, Prince George's, and Baltimore. Now, the guns, they were only stolen out of shops in Prince George's County. The other shops, like the one that's behind me, only had to deal with some damage from attempted break-ins. Investigators are still working to determine the exact full scope of this operation. This is the group of four Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown says is responsible for over 10 different break-ins and attempted break-ins at eight gun shops in three counties, now indicted on nearly 800 counts. While these law-abiding federally licensed retailers and small business owners were home preparing to celebrate the holiday with their families, these suspects were damaging their businesses. 81 guns and 10 replicas were stolen between Christmas Eve 2023 and March 2024. To this day, six guns have been found. It's when these guns fall into the hands of those who are banned from possessing them, that's what creates the greatest danger in our community. All suspects who are between 16 to 20 years old were identified largely because of Instagram. The 87 page indictment details the four used it to sell and show off the guns. Investigators believe these guns are being used in crimes elsewhere as five of the guns were found in Washington DC, some on juveniles. This has even caused rival groups to go after the four. One of the juvenile defendants shot their gun, but the other juvenile defendant who also had a loaded gun did not shoot their gun. The other members of the organization were mad at the second juvenile for not using deadly force to defend their organization. As the search for the guns continues, investigators are ready to make more arrests in this case. You will be found and you will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. This case will be prosecuted here in Anne Arundel County. If you know anywhere or exactly where these stolen guns are, please call police immediately. Reporting live on your corner in Glen Burnie, I'm Dennis Flair for WJZ. I right, thank you, Dennis.